Uh, ah, hmm. Let's look. Well, let's take a, take a closer. I don't think there's any other way. This is it. Oh, boy. Oh, the boy. You, hmm. Okay. I can do it. She can do it, she says. Maybe. Getting narrower. It's getting narrower. Oh, it feels so good. It feels good in here though. Oh, there's a big old boulder in the way. Hey, check it out. London bridges. I just hope they don't come falling down. <laughs> yeah, a little more. I think you almost got it. A little more. <laughs> that looks like there's our wildlife for the trail. There's a crow waiting for us to perish. Do we have to leave the shade? It's the only shady rock in the whole region. All right, we made our way to Little Wild Horse and Bell Canyon Loop Trail. Looks like they recommend going to the right, so that's Bell Canyon first. I don't know if we'll do the whole loop. This is super busy. Super busy. It's Saturday uh, morning, 10 a.m., and it's packed. I mean, cars down the road, whole place is full. <laughs> but so far, even with all the vehicles at the parking lot, there's only us on the trail here and a lady with two dogs behind us. So Everyone's standing in line for the bathroom. So. Yeah, they're waiting in line for the bathroom. <laughs> like, there ain't no hiding in here. Can't hide in the slot canyon. <laughs> all right, well, here's the beginnings of the wash. And surprisingly, people aren't too bright because oh, this is fast flood comes down through here when it rains they have their tents set up right in the wash it's like what the heck granted we give them some credit we haven't had any weather in a long at least a week and we don't have any coming yeah so you put your tent in the wash and then in the middle of the night when you think you're peeing the bed you're actually uh, getting washed downstream by a flash flood <laughs> oh check that out it's cool green striped rocks in here. It's pretty neat. Got this fun little pretzel tree wrapping around each other like lovers. It's pretty hot. Looks like that tree knows where to find the water in a dry desert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really did. There's a few more down in here too. Coming in the canyon, you can see the, the rock. How it's starting to jet up from the swell, or the reef. Pretty neat. All right, well here's the beginnings of the slot canyon, or one of them. I don't think this is to the split yet, but I'll have to check the map. This is looking pretty cool right here. Heck yeah. All right, I just looked at the map and this is just a teaser slot. You just do this little hooky thing right here and then it splits into the two different trails. Feels a lot better here in the shade. That's some cool rock formations in this slot canyon. Pretty neat. Look at the cool stripes in the rock right there. Pretty neat. We've got different patterns of stripes right here. That's really cool. Kind of cool to be a geologist. Geologist? No, what, what that 
I know it's a rock. Does that make me a geologist? All right, we made it to the trail junction. So you got, oh, I was mistaken. So little wild horse is on the right. And Bell Canyon's on the left. So we're gonna go up a little wild horse. And hopefully come out Bell. Oh, well, check this out. I don't think you want one of those sliding down on your head when you're down in there. Look at that. Holy cow. All right, we're starting to get into some shade. Hallelujah, because it feels pretty warm out here. Pretty cool views up this canyon right here. Look at the variations in the rock that are eroded by the water. It's really cool, and potholes in the rock. It's pretty neat. Look at this cool swirls and potholes in the rock. That's really cool. Right in the slot canyon. We're gonna be doing some little little windy windies through here. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. And there's more of it behind me here. This is where we're headed. Oh yeah, this is neat. Back in behind. Right in there. Yeah, for sure. It's narrow, man. Yeah, it's getting narrow. This is a super cool canyon to do in the heat of the day. At least you can find some shade. Check that out. Heck yeah. Lean. Lean to the left. Oh my goodness. Long center. <laughs> center going through that thing. This is really cool. I'll flip it around. This is a little bit more of it coming through. I can see why people like to hike this slot canyon because this is super neat. It's way up. I would never consider this if there was any storms in the region. No way. But when we had a dry spell with no sign of precipitation. Oh boy, it's getting narrow. Here we go. Yeah, it's pretty narrow. But... It's more narrow at the bottom. Yeah, my backpack's rubbing the sides. But I never leave home without it. All right. That section of trail there, Christy's done before. It was my first time, and beyond this is both of our first time. Yep. Heck yeah, here we go. Enter the crevice. Yeah. The crevasse. Hope I can get through. All right, it's getting rugged. We gotta climb over these boulders. All right, well that was a fun Fun little scramble through that section. Heck yeah, we're only about a mile and a half in. Wow, and we got six and a half more miles to go. I hope we don't get much worse than that. Know, that right? was, yeah, that was pretty. That was a little good. bit of a scramble. Yeah. 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 And you're much taller than me. <laughs> On where we go. I'm so glad it's shaded down in here because oh we would be dying of heat. Yes. Look at that. That's so oh heck yeah! Look down in there. Yes. Oh yeah. I can't. Heck yeah. 
Sounds like we've got a group coming up on us. Huh. Boy, you'd have to hug each other to pass in this game. Yeah. Oh, there's some water. Thirsty? Yeah, look at this cool rocky outcropping here. Looks like it's split and ready to fall at any moment. I guess if you wanted to do be adventurous, you could go up through that little crack. But no, we're going to take this lower one right here. All right, that last section we went through was lots of fun. It's challenging, boulder hopping. And then so we pop cool. back out into this easy walking again. I'm just glad it's shady. Yeah, the shade is a bonus for today. Yeah. I mean, it's chilly in here. It's probably, what, 50 degrees in this Maybe. slot? Maybe. But out by the truck, it was 70. 70. Mm -hmm. Felt like 90. Uh -huh. But uh, this is easy, good hiking in the shade and the cool. It's very cool to Awesome. Yeah, it is. Okay, now that's pretty cool. I haven't seen this before where there's rocks. all these rocks stuck in the sandstone like that. It's like oh, dinosaur cool. bones, kind of, but they're not. Cool. Yeah, they're just. That is pretty yeah, neat. They do look like dinosaur bones. Huh. Yeah, they're just all through here. Excavated. Yeah. Huh, that was neat. You got all these little, little cavey looking things right there. Huh. Oh, here we go. A little bit of a climb right here. Can she do it? I don't know. Yes, she can. Piece of cake. All right. What was that? The mile in the sun? No. Oh. This is uh, about. A little over two miles in and it opens up into this big basin. Just in time for your GPS's to sync with your phone or your uh, GPS unit to locate where you are and off you go again. And we got this big old cliff face and there's this big old rocky outcropping there. The stained cliff face, it's pretty cool. Annoying people. Time for a snack and a drink. A balanced rock. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was good. Mm -hmm. Very chewy. Yeah, these slot canyons are crazy because you think, oh no, I gotta climb that to get up to that bench, but no. There's a surprise around every corner. This is the passage. Heck yeah. Sure, let's go through the tunnel. This is cool. Check that out. Heck yeah. I'm going to see if I can go around the other way. Cool. Let's see if this goes through. Oh, yeah. This is less tunnely. Okay. I can do it. She can do it, she says. Maybe. You just shimmy up that crack. All right. Looks like we made it out of it. Little Wild Horse Canyon on the top end. Looks like the trail says to hit a road up here and then we're gonna follow the road across the top and then go down Bell Canyon to get back to the truck. Whew, we're gonna find this shady spot and get hydrated. Cause it's, I'll bet it's above 70 now. It's hot. It's a dry hot. Oh, Look at those cool little formations over there. All right, well there's our indicator to keep us on track so we're gonna go left and take there's, this bell canyon loop there's trail Karen, don't, like, but don't, don't let it deceive you because bell canyon's like 
mile across this flat desert open terrain to get to the next slot canyon that you're gonna go that way down. Oh yeah, toasted marshmallow. toasted marshmallow rock. Go take a lick. No. <laughs> no thanks. Toasted marshmallow rock. See how it tastes. No. Yeah. <laughs> tastes like sandstone. <laughs> Probably because it is sandstone. All right, we came out on a jeep trail, and that's part of the road or the. The trail is the road, and we got to top out there, and then we'll head down around this mountain, down Bell Canyon, because I don't think we can go over it. Oh, no. <laughs> That'd be something. Yeah. Hey, it's a hot hike. Yeah. I bet it's 80. Whew. Yeah, bring lots of water. Lots of water. We've already gone through a liter and a half. We're only halfway done, so we should probably even be drinking more than that. But but we're done. So. We're not Mark. <laughs> we're like, uh, do we have to leave the shade? It's the only shady rock in the whole region. Maybe we wait till like 8 p.m. <laughs> That's a long time. I think I'll suffer through the heat for a little bit. All right, we just crested this hill right here, which is the high point of the trail, about 4.7 miles of our eight. But it's all downhill. It's all downhill from here, though. Yay. And. Half of it will be, or more than half, will be in a slot canyon in the cool shade again. So we're ready to be done with this <laughs> hiking in the hot part of the day stuff. What the heck? That's not for us. But we're doing it. But that hill above us is pretty impressive if you look at that. Look at that thing. Heck yeah. It's like a witch's hat. All right, well, here's our horizon. Looking off to the north and to the west there, you can see the mountains off with snow-covered mountains in the west. And that slot canyon right down in there is our way back to the truck. So, we're gonna follow this little Jeep road down to where it enters the canyon. And get her done. Yeah, look at that. Cool little pedestal rock thing. All these cliffs. Well, all right. We're coming down this bottom of this hill here, and you can see the slot canyon open up there. That's we're gonna go down that. Hopefully, it's as cool as the first half we did. I don't know how that happens. Look at this cool. It's like this conglomerate rock underneath this, underneath this stuff. sandstone layer, which is... All, all up here. Huh. Who knew? Check this out, we got pimple rock. That is pretty cool. Don't... Oh, here's another one. Yeah, that's weird. Starting to look a little cliffy on both sides. All right, we're getting into the slot canyon again, so this is going to be mucho better than that hot road we were just on. Oh, it looks like they're climbing down. A, they're already climbing down a thing right there. So this trail coming into Bell Canyon here, there's these drop-offs like that, where you can't navigate down those, so you have to take these across this shelf and down this uh, little shelf deal here until you get down to the bottom. All right, we found some shade again. A little windy through these boulders and stuff. It's pretty neat. 
of you sports fans in Utah, I found the U of U. Heck yeah. So we're coming down this Bell Canyon and it doesn't look like a true slot canyon like the little wild horse was. At least we haven't seen anything yet. It's been like this most of the way, which is still cool. You've never seen this kind of stuff before. But, um, I don't know doing the full loops with it. But I'd just go up to the top of each canyon and go right back down. Yep. The hot stretch across the top. Mm, maybe not so much. Well, that's a cool little rock up there. That's your first step. It's a level. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say the lower part of both the canyons is worth the hike. Upper part, not so much. All right. It's a little scary, though, when you come across stuff like this in the trail. I busted up rock that came off of this cliff face up here. Holy cow. Come crashing down, busted in a big pile. There's the rocks, just busted apart. And then that big old honker there, and you see where it came off the cliff right there. Dang. Impressive, but scary and cool. All right, we're on the home stretch. Just got a little bit further down this. We dump out where we started, where the trail split off. All right. Overall, I think this hike was pretty good. What do you think? It was awesome. And the. Uh, I don't know if I'd do the full loop again. Though. Yeah, we wouldn't do the full loop, full loop again. Yeah. But pretty sweet. Lots of. Uh, things to go down like this right here a lot of them were a lot bigger down <laughs> made it fun holy cow look at all these people oh my goodness they just keep coming up the canyon well that's a wrap eight miles just under four hours two slot canyons dry hot section in the middle to get between them That's fun. We were hiking all over Goblin Valley. oh yeah we hiked through Goblin Valley three times too <laughs> before this one so we're pretty spent we're gonna go find us a cold drink and relax a little wild horse canyon and the Bell Canyon loop and if you're to do it I'd recommend going counterclockwise. A little wild horse first, Bell Canyon last. Take lots of water. Have fun, be careful. <laughs>